Hamas leader Yehya Sinwar has expressed his gratitude to Syed Hassan Nasrallah, the leader of Hezbollah, for the group's continued support against Israel. The message relayed by Hezbollah's media arm, Al Manar, on Friday, marked Sinwar's first reported communication since he assumed leadership of Hamas in August. The conflict between Israel and Hezbollah, an Iran-backed militant group, has been simmering across the Lebanese-Israeli border for nearly a year. Hezbollah claims its attacks are in support of Palestinians, occurring in tandem with the Gaza war. In his message to Nasrallah, Sinwar conveyed deep appreciation for Hezbollah's role. Sinwar's message read, Your blessed actions have expressed your solidarity on the fronts of the axis of resistance, supporting engaging in the battle. Since the October 7th attacks, which Sinwar is widely believed to have orchestrated, he has remained out of public view, reportedly operating from a network of tunnels beneath Gaza. Despite his absence from public life, Sinwar's influence remains potent. Earlier this week, he sent a congratulatory letter to Algerian President Abdulmajid Taboun on his re-election. Hezbollah, the most dominant faction in the Axis of Resistance, a coalition of Iran-backed groups, has been actively engaged in the Gaza conflict, alongside attacks from Yemeni and Iraqi factions, all in support of Hamas. However, not all members of Hamas have been entirely satisfied with Hezbollah's involvement. Khaled Meshal, former Hamas leader, previously hinted at dissatisfaction, stating, the battle requires more, despite expressing thanks for Hezbollah's participation. Over the past year, Israel's military efforts have significantly impacted Hezbollah's ranks, killing approximately 500 fighters, including Fuad Shuka, one of its top military commanders. In addition to his praise for Hezbollah's military support, Sinwar also extended his thanks to Nasrallah for a previous letter offering condolences over the death of Ismail Haniyeh, a former Hamas leader assassinated in Tehran in July, a killing widely attributed to Israel. The conflict between Hezbollah and Israel has displaced tens of thousands of civilians on both sides of the border, raising concerns of a broader escalation. Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant stated on Tuesday that Israeli forces are nearing the completion of their operations in Gaza and would soon shift their focus to the Lebanese front. The center of gravity is moving to the north. We are nearing the completion of our tasks in the south, but we have a task here that is a task that has not been carried out. And this task is to change the security situation and return the residents to their homes. Israeli leadership has consistently maintained that they would prefer to resolve the conflict through diplomatic means, aiming to create an agreement that distances Hezbollah from the border. However, Hezbollah remains firm in its stance, declaring that as long as the Gaza war continues, their attacks will not cease. As tensions rise, Sinwar, leading Hamas from the shadows, has become a key figure in the conflict. His messages to Hezbollah highlight stronger ties within the axis of resistance. As the Gaza war continues, Sinwar's strategic decisions will likely influence both Hamas and the broader resistance movement, making his role pivotal in shaping the conflict's outcome.